y'all. Shay here. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's WIP in chat. WIP stands for work in progress. And go ahead and grab something and just work alongside me, whether it be a diamond painting like mine or you know, a cra other crafts or errands or driving, whatever you need to do, let's just hang out and catch up for um, a little while. Um, this is actually the week two. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> That's why my Boston Terrier, Jasper, he's sad because I locked him out of the room. Anyways, um, yes, this is actually week two of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Along, the JBG Along, that I'm hosting with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, my good friend Lindsay over there. Um, so yeah, so be sure and listen all the way through this video for a key word. Uh, now I gave a key word last week in my last week's Whip and Chat. I'm going to do somewhere in this video, I'll do a little, um, a little giveaway winner, a little video, a little uh, clip of picking that winner. And then um, I will ask for a keyword for this video and you'll need to put that somewhere in the comments and kind of be sneaky about it, okay? Just don't put the word. And uh, yeah, so just listen to the video and I'll kind of just drop that in there somewhere, put it in and then um, next week I'll draw the winner for that that giveaway, okay? So yeah, this is the JBG along. This is Lindsay and I's third year to be doing it. So thank you to everyone that's participating. Um, on Instagram and Facebook, there are some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, JBGs. Um, I actually have a favorite right now. Um, my favorite right now is a crystal canvas art one, which is the entire canvas is all crystals. It is absolutely beautiful. That's by Rosalind. She just finished. And uh, so yeah, if you're curious um, and you're not participating, go ahead. We'd love to have you. You can still join. Um, what's today? Today's the 13th. So it runs the entire month of July. So I'm acting like you can't join, but yes, absolutely join in. It does not need to be a new start. This was actually the painting I was working on last year. So um, uh, yeah, we'll talk about everything I'm using in just a sec. Um, but yeah, go ahead and pull something out and join us. There's still a couple of weeks left. We've got giveaways, grand prizes. Um, so let's talk about that. Um, actually, I'm holding one of our one of our sponsors right here. Now, this one of our sponsors is Leopard Leatherworks. Carrie over there is awesome. She actually made this pen for me because she asked what painting I was doing, and I told her, you know, releasing fireflies, and it's got the, a lot of yellows. So they made this pen for me, and it is fantastic. From what I understand, um, I've, this is my first time to use their pens. They they're like satin finished, so they're a little different. They feel different than other pens that I've had. They're they're just beautiful. So this is the pen they made for me, but the pen that I'm going to be giving away from last week, um, it's going to be one of these. So I will let the winner pick. There's a pink and white, and there's a blue and white. So I will let the winner pick. So the week one, last week was, this is gonna be the giveaway. And then um, I'll do another one in um, when it, maybe week four, cause I think I'm gonna do our next, um, next week will be actually the word that you're gonna give this time. So next week giveaway will be a resin tray. They're actually, it's actually in transit right now to my house. So I'll be able to show y'all next week when I actually give it away. Um, but it's a resin tray from Amazing, from Emma over there, and she's got an Etsy shop. So I'll have both of these folks linked down below. So thank you so much for, you know, both of them sponsoring our event. Um, I'm actually doing the US giveaways only. So because I have to physically ship these items, um, Lindsay's doing international, she's doing gift cards. So we kind of thought it'd be nice to break them up that way to kind of keep it, you know, just easier. So, um, so if you're international, definitely listen, you know, listen to both of our whipping chats. So there's lots of prizes, but um, international there's gift cards and then I will be doing US for these physical items, okay? And the grand prize giveaway, if you finish at least a 30 by 40 section of your painting by the end of the month will be a gift card and a painting from Craftably. So yes, thank you to the awesome folks over at Craftably for donating. They have a, some beautiful JBGs, um, love it. The one I'm actually working on is from Craftably and it's called Releasing Fireflies. And I've got her upside down right now, as you can see. I have this row and one more and then I'll be finished. So I'm almost done, y'all. Um, like I said, I did this last year and I was able to pull her out again and finish her, hopefully this year. Um, I will pop up a picture of her and I'll probably leave it in the corner over here during the whip and chat so y'all can see what I'm working on. Um, so yeah, she's just beautiful. Um, fireflies definitely, which we also called lightning, lightning bugs here in Texas and in the South, um, really remind me of summertime. So I thought this was gonna be a great one to pull out and do for this summer. Uh, but yes, thank you to everybody that's participating. Like I said, I'm really enjoying seeing all the JBGs. Um, I love her artwork. It's just her big eyed girls have such deep expressions and they're just really, really cool to look at. So, and I've been, it's, it's been fun to see all the different ones. Um, 
And thank you again to our sponsors. So again, that's my diamond painting I'm gonna be working on. And then my other, my other accessories that I'm gonna be using today is a Bella Art Dana Cole tray. It is a 3D printed tray. And I'll have, of course, all these folks listed down below. This is one of their older trays. They have a different design now. Um, but I've got that. I showed you my pen from Leopard, Leopard. That's a tongue twister. Leopard Leatherworks. I love that. And then I have some tweezers because if I have to pull back the plastic or if there's a hair, these really come in handy. This is my um, little ceramic cutter. It's got a tiny, 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 not even a blade. I'm not, it's just a little sharp plastic piece that I actually use to, and I'll cut it in just a second because I need to start a new section. So I use this to slice it down and then I'll grab the tweezers to kind of grab that piece and pull it down. And then since I don't have one of Emma's trays um, yet, but I will, um, and I believe she's got JBG images inside of it. Um, this is actually a different tray from uh, Lexi Sparkle Crafts. So I got this from her. And I thought the yellow, kind of going with the yellow scheme today. And then my storage is Elizabeth Ward, Elizabeth Ward. There are 50 colors and this is a round. So, and I've added quite a, be, quite a few enhancements. Um, it came with a couple of ABs and a crystal, but I'm adding a lot more greens and blues. So I'm really making it sparkle. Yeah, so I'm adding, and when I do my post review, if I do one, I'll kind of cover um, what ABs I've added. Okay, I think that's everything. So go ahead and grab something to drink, something to eat. I've got some coffee. Um, I do have to, and I meant to start off and say this, I am so sorry for this being late. It is actually uh, Thursday afternoon at 3.43 p.m. in the afternoon, y'all. I normally film these on Wednesdays, but this week it just didn't work out that way. And I'll let you know what I did instead. And you'll, you'll agree that it was probably a good choice. Um, sometimes it's needed. So I did that instead yesterday, instead of filming my whip and chat, and I meant to do it last night, but I was just exhausted. And uh, I don't know if you can hear my throat or my voice, but I kind of have a, a deeper voice right now, um, kind of struggling with allergies. And I know some of some other friends of mine have also been talking about allergy struggles right now, but I've got this, um, I have no other symptoms other than a cough and sneezing a little bit. I've got this wet cough and I cough all night long. And like I said, it's not a dry cough, it's kind of a gross, yucky sounding kind of a creepy sounding cough um so if i have to stop and take some a sip of water or pause to edit out a cough i'll definitely do that but yeah um i'm struggling y'all a little bit so hopefully the voice isn't too bad um that's another reason why i couldn't film this this morning because my voice in the morning is really really scratchy and very very deep yes i've got the deep sexy voice right that's what we're gonna say Okay, so let me just slice this down. Sometimes I do a good job and sometimes I'm not. I try to lean up against that washi tape, but y'all, that was not good. I feel like that was just all over the place. I try to not go over the washi and you can press down really hard. I've never, like I said, it's not really like a true blade, but it's just sharp enough to cut through plastic. But um, yeah, I just slice that down and then I grab my tweezers, kind of grab up the edge and make sure it's not just the washi tape. And I do, like so you, you can tell that I do use washi tape to section off my, my diamond painting. You just put it on top of the plastic. But yeah, we're just gonna peel down a fresh, a fresh square. Oh, it's so satisfying. All right. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this entire thing off. No, I better not, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this section. Um, yeah, we'll see. So I was going to tell you all something, um, speaking of this painting, something I found, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, this is a painting that has darker colors, which, you know, I, I don't use a light pad normally, but when I went to the retreat, and I think I may have talked about this in my last whip and chat, when I went to the retreat in Ohio, I borrowed someone's light pad and I thought it was great because I just use an overhead light and it just really made a difference and I could see the symbols better and I was like, this is cool. So I ordered one from Art Dot and I got it and uh, it's okay. I'm just still trying to get used to it. Um, but I was at, uh, someone had alerted me a couple of weeks ago to um, the fact that the Dollar Tree, our dollar stores, um, were carrying diamond painting kits. So the other day I went to like three different Dollar Trees and I was on the hunt for these diamond paintings and I couldn't find them. Uh, what I was able to find was um, embroidery kits. So, and that's not what I wanted, but, um, so instead I was like, well, what else do they have? And I was looking now these diamond painting kits are, um, in the three and $5 section. So it's not the dollar 25. They're a little more expensive. So I was just really just looking in the three and $5 section 
And when I was there, I found a light pad. Um, let me, no, I won't grab the box. It's across the room. I'll show you all in another video probably, but um, found a light pad for $5 and it's like identical to my art dot one. It just doesn't say art dot, but it's like compact, thin. Um, yeah. So I was like $5. Yes. Let's try this out. So if y'all have a dollar tree near you, um, and you need a, a light pad or maybe an extra one for traveling or as a backup, it was only $5 and it worked great. So yeah, just wanted to give you all that tip that I thought that was pretty cool to find that. I wasn't expecting that. Um, glad I found something because like I said, I was going around to all the dollar stores so weird the first one i went to which is the one closest to my house i was able to go to three like i said but the first one i went to i got there a little after two o'clock in the afternoon and i'm getting out of my car and this woman is like looking at me like really staring at me and i'm like why is she, what is up with this woman like is she about to carjack me or what or like is she gonna ask me for something she just was really weird and so she looks at me getting out of the car and she comes over to me and she's like they're closed because she had just tried to go into the Dollar Tree. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, they have weird hours. They have new hours. And I guess they're now open from like nine to two. So I just missed it. But this was like on a, what day was it? Today's Thursday. I think it was like Tuesday. So it was Tuesday during the week. And they're only open until two. And this is like a really busy area. And like a shopping center with a Target and the whole nine yards. I thought that was so weird. So I didn't actually get to go inside that one. I tried, but I just was actually able to go in the two other ones. But yeah, I was kind of bummed. But but since the other ones didn't have it, um, I doubt this one would have. But I'm still going to go look at this one other this one other dollar store. But yeah, so cool little tip. So if you need a, a light pad, I'm still, the verdict's still out on my light pads. I don't know. I just, I like it, but I kind of need something even brighter. So that's kind of where I'm at with light pads. Um, I really want something to illuminate. I mean, illuminate, illuminate my painting. And the ones I have so far, I mean, they, they light it up, but I want like even brighter, I think. So I'm still on the hunt for maybe something else. So we'll see. We will see, but it's all new to me. I tried a light pad when I first started dime painting, but, um, and I may have mentioned this before, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but um, yeah, I, I tried and it just, I was able to see everything too clearly and I was like, oh, I don't like this. I can see all the imperfections and uh, I couldn't really see the diamond painting itself because all you could see is like just the symbols. So I kind of gave up on it and I was like, oh, I don't need, and then I just started using an overhead light. But like right now I'm kind of struggling seeing the symbols. Um, I didn't want to use a light pad during filming because I didn't know what that would look like. But um, yeah, I'm doing 310 right now and this is pretty dark, like a lot of dark blues. You can see in this. All right, I'm back. My phone has been bugging out. It's so weird. I just happened to look up to see if it was still filming, if it was still recording. And all of a sudden my phone starts um, black screen with a, like a little spinning wheel. And then it just turns off. I'm like, um, it happens a lot when I'm trying to film. So I don't know if I'm like running out of memory, if I need to delete some stuff, I bet I do. Cause I have quite a few videos on here that I have filmed and um, not deleted from my phone. So I probably need to clean out some stuff, but I have to keep checking, but all right. So yeah, so that's diamond painting stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this painting. It's fun. Okay, so let's talk about a um, couple things. So I was tagged in uh, from Diamonds and Washi from Katie. I was tagged for um, some tag questions and I didn't get a chance to get to him last week because I was updating y'all about the retreat. And uh, I, I mentioned that I was going to try to get to him today. Well, I don't want to do them. <laughs> I know that sounds awful and it's not, has nothing to do with y'all. It's me. Um, I was, as I was listening to some other creators that have done the tag questions, y'all, I, you're not going to like my answers. It's going to be super boring. Um, so let me just preface it. So the first couple of questions, I don't have them in front of me, but I, I know from listening to some other folks, it's like, you know, how many diamond paintings have you completed? I don't know. I didn't keep a log book my first year I diamond painted, my first year and a half. Um, so I have no idea. How many in your stash? I don't know. That was like another question. So I just felt like, I'm like, I'm not gonna be interesting. They're not gonna wanna hear. So Katie, I'm sorry, I know you tagged me, but I don't think, <laughs> y'all, it's really gave, it was an eye opener because I thought, I need to get my act together. Um, I do a logbook now, 
I started doing one the last couple of years for the ones I've completed. But as far as like my stash, I don't keep um, an updated record in any way, shape or form. I had done a gems flow video and I was updated it, but I never kept up with it. So I have no clue what's in my stash. Um, and I know some of the other questions I was like, they're not, they're going to be so bored. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be exciting. It's not going to be worth listening to. So I was like, we're just going to skip over those. I mean, I'll be happy to tag someone, which I actually do want to tag someone. Um, we're just going to do like a tag grit, but I think she's already been tagged, but I'm going to tag my best friend, Randy. If you're listening, you can call me butter, 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 my butter. If you're listening, I know she said someone already, somebody already tagged her. But I'm going to tag her again because I want to hear her answers because that girl is, she's like put together. She's organized, unlike me. So, but yeah, it really kind of gave me, it was good because I'm glad I got tagged because I was like, okay, I need to really do a better job of keeping track of my stuff, you know? I mean, yes, it's a hobby. And so I don't really, but yes, I have to keep track of some things for like videos and stuff. But, you know, but it was so cool because like I was with Randy yesterday and we got on the subject of diamond pa oh i know what it was i asked her if she had a lot of dragon diamond paintings i don't know how we got on the subject of dragons and i said yeah i don't have any i said i maybe have like one i'm like how many do you have she's like i'm like you don't really have a lot of dragons." she's like actually i do hold on let me look. so she pulls out her phone and it's just amazing it's so cool she's like totally up to date totally organized flipping through all her beautiful diamond paintings you know on her phone she can see exactly what she has and i was like okay I need to, I need to do this. So I'm really gonna try y'all. I'm really gonna try to, and maybe we can do an updated um, tag question whenever I get my act together. I mean, I could tell you how much I've completed like the last two years, but I've been diamond painting for longer than that. So it really, really, really wouldn't be accurate. I've given away several paintings, you know, after I did them. That's what I did my first, uh, my first year of diamond painting. Y'all let me know, did you do the same thing? Or are you doing the same thing? Are you gifting? a lot of your completed diamond paintings to family and friends. I kind of exhausted all the people in my family, you know, grandmas and cousins and mom, dads and everybody. Um, my kids even have all gotten some. So, um, yeah, I don't really think I have anybody else left to, to give them to. Although one that I just finished recently, Ohana, it was my little octopus one from Mary's diamonds. My daughter, my 10 year old daughter, Lou said she did want, want that one in her room. So I was like, okay. So there's some that, you know, but the boys, my, my two boys are like, no, nah, we're good. I've given both of them like ones of our dogs that I completed. Um, and I don't think they ever got hung up in their rooms. So anyways, um, so yeah, I do apologize for not answering the tag questions, but it's just, yeah. I mean, I feel like I've answered some of them before too, as far as like round or square, I like both. So I'm saying it wouldn't be really exciting. I don't think it'd be great content. So I was like, I don't wanna bore them. And so I'm just gonna apologize up front, but I think we're just gonna skip over them. So just wanted to cover the tag questions. Um, but let's see, so I got some good news. Uh, and I meant to tell you all about this last week, but I forgot. Um, I know everyone's been kind of following my kids journey on uh, trying to find a job. So for those of you that are new, I do have two boys and a girl. My boys are 16 and 18, and they've been trying to find jobs, and we're struggling, and I've kind of been keeping everybody up to date on that, and uh, some people have asked, so I wanted to give you all an update. Um, Nate, my 16-year-old, got a job. Yes, it's at a place. Now, when he got the job, it wasn't even opened yet. It's called Bird Call, and Bird Call is, they serve alcohol, so he can't work the front of the house, but it's sort of like, it's not fast food. I don't know what the terminology would be for it, but you order at the counter and they bring it out to you or you come up and get it, I guess. So it's not like a, it's not like a sit down like restaurant, you know, where you get like a waiter. Um, but he's been, um, he trained for the first couple of weeks. He's been there, um, I think it's been about three weeks now. Uh, they officially opened their doors on Monday of this week. So he'd been of course getting paid for training which was great. And they had him, you know, training in all the different positions. And this is his first job he's ever had. So really, really proud of him. And uh, he aced it. He aced the interview, which is great because um, I was telling y'all before that he had, you know, gone to some interviews and never got a call back. Just nothing. Never even heard why he didn't get it or if he was going to get it. They just never contacted him back again. So after a few of those, it was kind of discouraging, but he finally got one. And uh, he really likes working the fryer. They had some, um, 
some openings, like they did like a soft opening last week where they had like family and friends of customers um, come out and, you know, kind of do like a, um, hold on, I got a cough. Okay, um, kind of do like a soft launch. And uh, so he liked that and like said all the training and he originally was not scheduled to work opening day because I guess they wanted to have like the A-team, you know, like some of their trainers and, you know, employees from other restaurants that have, they're out of Colorado. And this is actually only their second one that they have in Texas, I believe. And uh, so, but before the opening, he actually got contacted and was put on the schedule. And I thought that was awesome. And I go, see, I said, um, that's awesome. I said, did you tell him you wanted to work more hours? And um, he goes, yeah, I, you know, I said I would be, I'd be available. And I guess the manager had sent him um, a message and said that um, they wanted him to work on opening day and work opening week because um, they've been very impressed with his um, work so far and his attitude. And I'm just like, oh, so I'm really, really proud of him, y'all. He's my, um, he's my, he's my kid that's super responsible. And, uh, you know, I never have to worry about getting him up for school, getting him up for work. He does his own thing. He'll cook his own meals. He does his own laundry. I mean, he's just, he's just a good kid and, uh, super, super easy. He's my middle child. So yeah, really, really lucked out with him. Um, really, really did. He's just, he's a cool guy. So really, really happy for him. Um, he has to wear jeans, which he doesn't love. He doesn't like jeans, but the jeans that we bought him for Ryan's graduation in May, um, ended up coming in handy because he's been wearing those every day. He only has one pair of jeans, but he keeps washing them. Um, he was off the last couple of days, so he hasn't been working every day, but, um, he works, he's at work right now. He just left. He works from like four to 11. So he closes. And, uh, so we'll just see how it goes with like when school starts in August and see if he can, you know, keep, I don't want him to close on school nights. We went through that with Ryan, his brother, and it's just, it's just too late, you know, for them to be getting home at midnight on a school night. And he told me, he's like, mom, I can do it. You know, I normally didn't go to bed till that time anyways on school nights. I'm like, yeah, but it, you know, you're working and you get tired and what if homework and all those things. So I just was like, yeah, let's try to stay away from closing. Sorry, y'all are lands are mowing the grass outside. So if it gets loud, I'm, I apologize. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's, he's working. He gets his first paycheck, um, tomorrow. So he is super stoked about that, but we had to explain to him um, about, you know, taxes and because he was trying to calculate how much his paycheck was going to be for the amount of hours that he's worked. And we were both like, eh, buddy, don't get, you know, you're not going to get as much as you think because taxes. And he was like, oh, no, really? And so he's, it'll, it'll be an eye opener, but still super proud of him. And uh, so, yeah, he's at work and he works um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He works all these days. So... Um, yeah, so it's been really good to see him, you know, working and then having a couple days off. So he's doing really well and they're still enjoying their summer. Um, speaking of summer, my, um, my daughter's actually has been gone since, um, Monday. It's been really, really weird. And like I said, today's Thursday. So it's been very quiet around the house, especially with my husband traveling too during the week. So it's just been me and the boys for the last couple of days. Um, but Lou left. Uh, let's see, my dad, I saw y'all on my live on Sunday, and I mentioned to you that my dad had just got into town, and so I kind of cut the live short, which y'all were really, really sweet about it and understood. I normally try to go, that's really loud out there. I wonder if I should pause. They're like weed whacking and stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna pause. Okay, y'all, I think we're in the clear. Every time I was about to press record again, they would um, start mowing or weed whacking or whatever they were doing out there. They normally come on Wednesdays, but we've been getting so much rain lately that um, they sent us out a message saying it was going to be rain delayed. So that's so funny. Of course, whenever you're trying to record a video is when they start mowing. That's how it always works, right? I know I've heard other people trying to do videos too where that happens. Um, where'd we leave off? Um, oh, yeah. So I was on my live on Sunday and I told you all my dad was in town. So um, I got off my live and then um, we hung out and took my daughter and her best friend to get some bubble tea some boba got home and then soon after that my um my husband and nate my 16 year old they had gone to see mission impossible there was an early release that they were they, they were able to get tickets um i think it was like from walmart or something um because it hadn't even come out yet and so they were super excited about that so they'd gone to the movies at three so um when they got done with the movies they met us at um a restaurant 
it's one of my dad's favorite restaurants and because they don't live here anymore in Dallas we always try to take them there it's um, it's like a Tex-Mex restaurant so we had margaritas and, and Mexican food it was really really fun and then um, we came back chilled out and then um, everybody headed to bed we packed up Lou because uh, she was gonna be heading to Amarillo in the morning with her pop that's what we call gr her her grandpa it's my dad his pop so um, yeah so they she woke up early I didn't even have to wake her up she was up and ready to go they left about nine and uh, yeah they drove to Amarillo which is about six hours and uh, it's been so quiet around the house although she does call me and FaceTime me a lot which is super sweet um, I miss her very much um, I, this is the, only, the first time that she's ever been away from me like you know I'll go to retreats and stuff and be gone but this is the first time I've been home without her for this long and it's kind of weird um, and then my husband left um, he left Tuesday morning for Austin and he's been gone all week and so but the boys were here but the boys really keep to themselves and um, yeah so it kind of felt like I was alone it was but I had the dogs but it was just kind of weird um, and I also didn't know what to do with myself um, there was days where I was like it's funny because I think Lou really dictates you know like what we're gonna eat for lunch and like if we're gonna go shopping that day or what activities or I don't know I just didn't really realize how much you know your kids really keep you going and keep you busy and yeah so it was really quiet but I have enjoyed the quiet you have been doing a lot of diamond painting and um, like I said I got to go check out those dollar stores the other day and by myself and then I went to Target and did some grocery shopping and just kind of piddled around and putzed around Target by myself and didn't really have you know didn't have to worry about anybody picked up a take and bake pizza and brought it home for the boys so we had pizza that night and uh, yeah so it's just been really low-key which is nice but I realized you know um, at the beginning of the week that you know Lou was gone and you know my husband was gonna be gone so I I sent Randy a message and I was like so um, I'm, I'm alone this week what you doing so she was like uh yeah let's get together so we um scheduled it for yesterday so wednesday um we i brought packed up my diamond painting stuff and um you know uh filmed a timu video so i still have to work on i'm still editing that so that's coming out um and i was gonna film my whip and chat but my voice in the morning was really really scratchy and so i tried to do my timu video and hopefully that turns out okay um but I was like, I, I just wanted to go play, you know? I just wanted to hang out with my best friend. I felt like I had to work, and I was like, I don't wanna work, I just wanna play. So I uh, sent her a message, I was supposed to go over there at 11, but about 10, I was like, can I come over now? She's like, I'm getting dressed. I was like, okay, I'll wait. So I waited till 11, actually I was a little late, I got there about 11.30, and uh, yeah, we just had the best time. Um, I didn't get home till 9.30 last night, which is crazy. I even told, uh, I talked to Lou this morning and she's like, what time did you get home from Randy's? I'm like 9.30, she's like, what? You know, cause I've never stayed over her house that long, but nobody was home. The boys were good, I had them feed the dogs. The boys were able to feed themselves dinner. Um, they both called me, you know, of course. Mom, when are you gonna be home? I'm like, I don't know why. They're, I'm like, are you hungry? Yes. I'm like, you can figure it out. Y'all, they both drive, they both have vehicles, they both have some money, kind of. I mean, so I'm like, you can feed yourself. So um, let's back it up. So I went to Randy's, got there, like I said, about 11.30. And we diamond painted for a little bit, hung out and laughed and just were catching up. And uh, we started getting hungry. But before that, we decided to go to the mall. So she wanted to go to Sephora and return something. And then she had something else she wanted to look at and see the colors of, like some lipstick colors. So, um, and for those of you that might be new and didn't know, but my best friend Randy, like I said, has a channel. You can call me Butter, so definitely go check her out if you haven't yet. And uh, she's, a she's a makeup artist. So, going makeup shopping with her is super fun. Okay, I had to cough. Um, yeah, going shopping with her for makeup is super fun. I was asking her like different colors, suggestions, and it's just so funny because I'm not into really makeup, but my best friend and my daughter are like, love Sephora and I have to go to Sephora all the time and I'm just like I know this store so well but it's not really a store that you know I really want anything from but I end up kind of you know walking around and getting into stuff and looking at colors and but I have no clue what I'm doing in there absolutely no clue so she got what she needed they were out of some stuff that she wanted but um, that's because she does a ton of research and uh, you know going into it and so she, a lot of times she's getting stuff that's good get, gets, gets good reviews and it's sold out so um, but yeah she got some mascara 
And then after that, we decided to have lunch at the mall. They have a restaurant called Mi Cocina. It's a Mexican restaurant. So we went and had Mexican food. We shared some nachos and then um, walked around a little bit more and then um, headed back to her house. And then diamond painted and laughed and caught up. And she would just, she was cracking me up, y'all. Um, I mean, she, we both have our phones out and we're like showing each other memes and people we follow on Instagram that like make us laugh and, and the funny things they do and the skits and the singing. And she was just, we were just laughing so hard. She is so fun to hang out with. And I just, I needed a day with my friend and it was so nice because she was like, I hope, you know, you're planning on staying for a while. This was through text messages before I headed over there in the morning. And I said, what are we having for dinner? And she was like, yeah. So we just, you know, we didn't have, her husband was out of town. We didn't have anybody to take care of except for our doggos, which her dogs are so sweet. Um, the boys were going to take care of ours. And uh, yeah, and it was just nice just to kind of get away, you know, just spend the day together and really just have fun. So we diamond painted, well, I diamond painted and she just made me laugh all day. And uh, she's hilarious, y'all. I mean, the, for those of you that know her, you know, I mean, she's, she's something else, but <laughs> she's hilarious. Um, so then we started getting hungry and I was like, do you have any wine? Cause it was about, it was about 6.30 or so, almost seven. She's like, no, not really. And the wine she did have was like super expensive. And I was like, it was like our husband's and I was like, oh, I don't want to drink that. So, um, for like, you know, someone for work. And I was like, no, like as a gift, I was like, we're not, definitely not going to drink that wine. So we, um, ordered pizza. We ordered Domino's and right next to where her Domino's is, there's a grocery store. So we ran into the grocery store and, uh, got some wine. She needed some eggs. So we did that and then went next door and picked up our pizza, headed back to our house and ate pizza and just, hung out y'all I mean we just it's so fun and every time I'm with her you know we've been friends now for I think th three years maybe I'm not really sure exactly it's been a while um but I just love her more and more and more every time I hang out with her and I get to know her a little bit more it just keeps growing you know and it's just so fun so I'm so just so happy and so lucky that we met through this community that's why this community means so much to me because, you know, I wouldn't have met Randy if I wouldn't have started diamond painting. So, you know, a lot of good stuff can come out of it. But yeah, so we had a great day. Like I said, I didn't get home until 9.30 and she's like, text me when you get home. I was like, okay, I was getting tired. Um, like I said, I've had this cough. I don't think it's anything. Um, I hope I didn't get Randy sick because that would be really bad and I'd feel awful. Um, but yeah, so we just hung out and then I was going to do my whip and chat. So we talked about doing a whip and chat, um, together yesterday. Right. But we were like, logistically, I mean, we could do it of course, cause she does videos too. So we could like set it up and put it up on both of our channels, but the day just kind of got away from us. We were going to do the, um, the, the tag questions and just kind of hang out and do a video together, talk about the retreat. But we just, I don't know. We just started doing other things and we just never got to it. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it when I get home. And I was so tired last night and the coughing was, you know, my voice was starting to get kind of raspy again and kind of gross. And I was like, oh, I'll do it in the morning, but I slept in this morning. So I really, again, I'm sorry that this is coming out late. I know a lot of people, um, don't necessarily count on it to be at a certain time, but I really try to be consistent for those of you that, you know, do look forward to it at a certain time. And especially with the JBG along, you know, with doing an event and there's giveaways, some people want to know if they won. And so I definitely understand that. So I'm going to, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to, um, it might even be shorter than usual, just so I can pop off of here and, uh, get it up on YouTube as quick as possible. Um, speaking of y'all like looking for it, you know? So, um, but yeah, um, I am leaving, let me say tomorrow morning for Amarillo because it's Thursday here. So I'm leaving Friday morning. Um, originally I was going to be going by myself and just driving up there and I'm going to hang out till Monday morning. And, uh, and then Lou and I are going to drive back. So I'm going to hang out, you know, at my parents for the weekend and we're going to go do some fun stuff. And, uh, but I think Ryan's going to come with us. So I think he's going to come up to Amarillo with me, which is awesome because I won't be doing that six hour drive by myself. You know, we can maybe just tag team it and both, you know, switch off and drives, you know, maybe I can diamond paint if he drives. I'm not sure. So yeah, the plan is he's going to come with me, but you know, things could change. So and I, my parents were like, do you think he's coming? I'm like, and Lou was asking this morning. I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I don't think we'll know until I pull up at your house, if he's going to be with me or not. So we'll see. But as far as today's concerned, he said he is coming. So we'll see. 
Um, I did do a load of laundry and I was trying to pack this morning real quick and kind of get some to do's. Um, my husband comes home tonight from Austin and then, um, you know, I'll leave in the morning. We'll be like two ships passing in the, passing in the night. And then he, I'll come home Monday afternoon with Lou and Ryan. And then, um, he leaves again for Austin on Tuesday morning. So yeah, um, it's really nice. Cause you know, I haven't been up to Amarillo since my parents moved. Now it's my grandmother's house that they moved into. So I've been to the house before, but I haven't been there since they moved in and since they've been staying there and they want to show us some cool stuff. Lou is having a wonderful time. I don't think she's going to want to come back. We've been calling and texting quite a bit, like I mentioned, and she's been showing me all the stuff they've been getting her. They're spoiling her rotten, absolutely rotten. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's not going to want to come home or I'm going to have to like reprogram her when she gets home because she's going to be just, we'll see. Uh, but we're going to share a bed because they have a guest room. We're going to share the bed together when I get there. But she keeps asking me, when are you coming? When are you coming? So everybody's really looking forward to seeing us. And they've got some fun things planned. The one thing that they're going to do um, in Amarillo, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but I guess there was this pretty eccentric uh, gentleman. And he had done some, he was like a millionaire, a billionaire maybe. And I forget what it's called Cadillac something, but it's off the side of the highway, I believe. Um, I've seen it before. And it's like these Cadillacs are sticking up, like the, the nose of the car is sticking in the ground. So you've got these Cadillacs that are sticking up. And I don't know how many there are. I think there's like six or so, maybe more or less about there. I think it's been years since I've seen it. And these Cadillacs are just kind of all sticking up out of the ground. It's super cool. It might be called Cadillac Ranch, mm, maybe. Um, but apparently you can take spray paint and you can spray paint them and just write all over them for fun. And they don't care because more and more people just come and spray paint over them again. So my mom and dad bought spray paint. Um, they were going to take Lou to go do that, but they're like, we'll save it for you when you and Ryan get here. So yeah, she showed me the spray paint. She's like, what's your favorite color? And I told her blue would be fun to use. And she's like, oh good, we got blue. So, um, we're going to do that. And we're going to go to a restaurant in Amarillo called, um, the big Texan, I think it's what it's called, but it's one of those steakhouses that if you eat a certain size steak in an hour that you, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like an eating competition thing. I don't know if you get your name on a, on the wall or what you get, but it's one of those places where you have to eat this huge obnoxious amount of food and you have like an hour to do it. And from what I understand from talking to my folks, I think they have like a stage that the person like will sit up on. That's just weird, right? Isn't that weird? You'd be like, you're like on show, right? You're like, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be up there eating and having everybody look at me and seeing if I can finish it in an hour. So it would be kind of cool if we do end up seeing somebody up on the stage, maybe. So yeah, but it's like a really cool place. It's like well-known. Um, it's been on several shows and YouTube videos and stuff. So we're going to go do that. And uh, tonight they're actually going to see Texas. It's like this, it's in the Palo Duro Canyon and it's this awesome, I've seen it before. It's a play. Is it Oklahoma or Texas? I think it's called Texas. Um, but it's this awesome, awesome play that they put on and everything's outside and all the lights and everything are against this canyon and you're sitting outside in this like amphitheater. It's really, really cool. So they're going to do that tonight and, uh, enjoy themselves doing that. So yeah, it's, um, it's been fun. Lou's been looking forward to this trip all summer and we didn't, we didn't take a summer vacation. So this has been her, her vacation for the year. So for the summer, so she's really having a good time. Um, she really misses me and I miss her. So yeah, I'm looking forward to driving up there and seeing her, you know, tomorrow. So, um, speaking of that, um, so I'll be there till Monday. So I don't know if I'm going to be going live on Sunday. I kind of was hoping we could just kind of leave it open-ended and kind of play it by ear. I mean, if we're not doing anything, I'm bringing my computer, you know, of course I got my phone. I can definitely go live from there, but I don't want to go live if we're like doing something right. And I don't know what, if they've got anything planned for us on Sunday in the afternoon. So, um, I just figured we could play it by ear if I if you know when I if I do go live I'll definitely send out um you know you'll get the notification I normally do that on Saturdays um you know that I'm going live or I'll put like a community post out saying I'm not going live if I find out we are doing something so yeah we'll just kind of play it by ear if y'all are okay with that and uh so before we forget let's go ahead and do the keyword okay now the keyword 
I need, again, put it in the comments and the word for this week's whip and chat for um, Emma, she's gonna have, and like I said, I'll have it any day now. Um, like I said, last week's winner got this, right? Got a pen. This week will be one of these resin trays. And I think she even included some, some other goodies. So, and they have JBG on there. Um, I wish I could show y'all, but I, like I said, they're on their way. But I'll be giving away um, some of Emma's things. And uh, that word is going to be happy. H-A-P-P-Y. So incorporate the word happy somewhere, you know, down in the comments into a sentence. And that'll qualify you to pick, uh, for me to pick your name for next week, okay? So yeah, definitely join, put the word happy in there. I chose happy because I thought, you know, I'm really happy to be here with y'all. Um, I'm happy to be here on YouTube with you. I'm happy that you've joined me every week and you continue to support me. And I'm just happy to be part of this, you know, event too. So for the third for third year, I'm glad Lindsay keeps, you know, asking me. So yes, it makes me feel really good. All right, y'all. Um, let me go ahead and pause now. And I'm going to go ahead and put up the clip of the winner from last week. And... Um, Congratulations ahead of time, but I'll go ahead and congratulate that person once I do that. I'll do the random comment picker and we'll put in the word from last week and y'all will see who is the winner. So again, I don't know how long this video is. I had to pause several times to cough. I do apologize for that. I apologize for it being short and late and all the things. So thank y'all for, you know, giving me some grace. Really do appreciate it. And I didn't even ask you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. But at least I didn't at least I didn't forget altogether, right? Got to look at the positives. How are you? I didn't even ask you guys how you are. And that's like one of my first things I normally say. I'm just out of sorts, y'all. I don't feel 100%. I just feel out of sorts. But yes, um, how are you? Please let me know down in the comments. Put a comment down and let me know how y'all are and what you've been up to, uh, what you did during this time, what, what you're working on, and just in general, how you are, right? This is our time to, and I love reading your comments. I read every single one of them, and they really mean a lot to me. So definitely let me know how you are. Okay, good, bad, and different. Just let me know. And uh, we'll get an update from everybody. Okay, hopefully. All right, y'all. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the clip. Um, that'll be, probably be the last of the video. Um, I'll go so go ahead and say goodbye now. Um, thank y'all so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. You know, as I always say, they really do help. And uh, if you've not subscribed, I would love to have you. It's absolutely free. So just click on that subscribe button down below and you'll be part of my world. And then there's a notification bell. That notification bell, if you ring that and click all, then you'll get notified every time I post up any video. And there's tons of new videos coming up. I've got Timu hauls, unboxings, more whip and chats, more giveaways. So definitely stay tuned for all those and uh, keep up with me, okay? All right, love y'all so much. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys. All right, y'all, we are back to pick our winner from last week's for the week one JBG along giveaway winner. So what I did was, this is just a random comment picker for YouTube. I put in the URL from last week and the word was retreat that I'd asked for. And we've got to do the math problem. Let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's put that in and get YouTube comments. We had 124 unique comments. Wow, you guys, that's a lot of people. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do the finger drum roll. Let's go. Where's the start button? I might need that. <laughs> uh, where's the start? Here we go. Start raffle and pick a winner. Okay, y'all look for your name. Jasmine, oh, congratulations. She said, hi, Shay, the plane story, OMG, I don't think I could have stayed quiet. I recently flew back from Florida and also sat in the middle seat with Strange. I don't know if it's gonna give me the rest of her comment. It might take me into the video. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, we'll never know, y'all. We'll never know. So Jasmine, thank you so much. Um, congratulations, oh, I think it's playing. It actually is playing. Okay, um, yeah, so we'll never know. Seat with this, maybe a Strange, what do you think she, it was, a Strange? gentlemen woman who knows we'll never know y'all congratulations again you have won one of these leopard leather work pins so contact me and let me know which one um my email it will be in the description of this video or hit me up on instagram it's crafting with shay and i will get these mailed out i'll get one of them mailed out to you okay all right thanks again for everything y'all and uh back to the video
Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just had to know what her comment said. Let's read the whole thing. It says, hi, Shay, the plain story. OMG, I don't think I could have stayed quiet. I recently flew back from Florida and also sat in the middle seat with strangers on both sides. The guy in the aisle seat had horrible poop breath <laughs> and I'd catch it each time he would turn his head in my direction. I hope to be able to attend a retreat in the future. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that happened to you, Jasmine. That is bad, but you've won. So congratulations again. And uh, thank y'all. Okay, bye.